Hey guys, I am uh, setting up really fast to do these custom painted Rick and Morty vans. Just want to make sure everything's working real fast before I paint. Just take a minute. All right, cool. That's working. That's working. All right, hey guys, Steve Gonzalez from MindlessPaint.com, and today I'm actually airbrushing some Rick and Morty vans, or actually Converse, my bad, I always say vans. So for some Rick and Morty Converse, really right, hey cool. Steve Gonzalez from MindlessPaint.com. Turning this down. Um, really cool, actually, I had a customer from Australia want to get some custom Converse painted. So I was like, sweet, gives me a chance to paint some like Rick and Morty stuff. So I'm setting up right now. I'm going to do this for you guys where I can find it right here. So I'm doing one of the Converse, Rick, and then the other one, Morty. So what I'm doing is making these custom templates that I make and I'm adhering it really well to the uh, shoe. That's really important to do that. Because if you don't, the thing will just pop off and then you're done. You can't do anything from there. Um, right here. All right, and then I start with with a uh, black. I'm always using black. It's really, hey, what's what's up, Jax? What's up, Rochelle? Awesome. Ron, awesome. Great right on. Josh, all you guys. Appreciate it. Start off with all of this, outlining it real fast. Lower my seat so I can get down here. Okay, now I'm like at the level. Start by tracing around the design kind of lightly at first. I want to make sure I get a nice, deep, rich black. Hey, what's up, Paula? Hey, guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I am doing some custom painted. Rick and Morty Converse. So, checking it out, having some fun, playing around, doing like a cool galaxy effect in the background. I think that'll be cool because they have like this like green kind of like oozy stuff that comes off in the show. And uh, I don't know if anybody's some Rick and Morty fans, but I am. Wait, so don't paint those shoes. Oh, right on. Yeah, I'll definitely post my picture when I'm done uh, for the shoes. Doing some green in the background, adding a neon green. I really like using neon colors because it really makes whatever you're making pop so well. Hey, what's up, Katrina? Hey, what's going on, guys? Appreciate you joining me and checking me out. So it makes it pop really nice. I'm kind of doing that all around the shoe as I paint, moving it around. And just being really, you know, careful of what I'm doing and everything and all of that real fast. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm painting some custom Rick and Morty Converse. So I'm adding this neon green everywhere. And this is like the base coat right here, right? Coming back here. Being really careful, just kind of checking it out, slightly dusting it, and letting that dry. So let that chill out for a minute, and uh, let that dry for a minute. Blow dry it really good. All right. Hey, it's a Braxton. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey Jimbo, dope bro, make sure. Make you make them dreams come true. I'm trying, man. Every day, just putting the work in, you know? But, uh, yeah, so doing like a galaxy kind of thing. I and mean, they have like this ooze or something or something. You know, I watched it Rick and Morty a couple times. But I definitely love the show. Half closer. And then like a, um, like a darker, richer green. 
I got in trouble painting at work the past few days and a few kids made a mess doing some props. Oops. Yeah, I, I do that everywhere. Thanks, Michelle. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching me. And um, yeah, I'm always painting on stuff and getting like all messed up. That camera. Adding this like deeper green. So this is actually a phthalo green. And this is a nice dark green. I love this color. It's so, I don't know. It's a pretty green to me. It's like a, I can do a lot of detail with it. And I kind of come in here and let it swirl around and all that. And then I'll, I'll move the shoe like this. And then I'll add all that here too. Do like some swirls here, right? Some dots and swirls. Just give it like cool graffiti esque kind of look to it. And I'll interlap these like swirls just because I like giving something depth. I like Jackson Pollock as an artist and he does that with his paintings. So I kind of like incorporate that. All the famous artists I love, I, I, I like stealing their ideas and using them as my own. You know, and kind of little dot ideas I kind of incorporate. So, like, always follow great artists. You know, you'll get better like that. That's a great tip. Um, hey, what's up? Awesome, love the work. I oh, appreciate it, uh, Ashley Jet. Hey, thanks. Thank you, Ashley. So, um, adding more green on top of here. And you always got to move around too. When you notice me painting, uh, like anything, like shoes, shirts, whatever, I'm always like moving around the object. That lets the little paint layers underneath it dry, so you don't overlap and flood it. Is that what I call it? I call it flooding, pulling. Kind of like a car, I guess. Use those terms. Hey, Janine Ty, hey, uh, that's awesome. Keep up the great work. Awesome, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, Rick and Morty. I like doing different stuff. I had to put Rick and Morty, man. I had to do some Converse and I got Converse on my shop. I got everything Rick and Morty, man. Actually, this is like the third, second live stream I did Rick and Morty. Can you tell? All right. So I added that, and now what I want to do is take off this template, and you'll see it right now. It's super dope. Like, bam, the whole thing. And he's, he's bald. He's bald. Whatever. He's going to have some hair soon. I feel like when I'm in, like, you know, like, high school and there's, like, or I'm a kid and you're watching those guys, like, oh, draw some hair on him. And I'll draw some, you know, something on him, you know? And everyone's like, oh, my God, that's so cool. And, like, that's how I was when I was little. I was like, wow. And now I'm just like, oh, hey. Okay, so I think he has um, yellow, actually. So he has yellow, right, in his shirt. So let me add that right now. And a lot of the primary colors, you'll see, I'll have it on separate guns. My son is six and he loves them already. Oh, awesome, man. Yeah. So, like, I, I thought it was like a kid's, like, it is a kid's cartoon, but it's like super adult theme. So, like, it's kind of funny. It's like fun to watch. Even like as an adult. All right, so, and then I added the yellow, so I added that in there. I'm gonna go back here. And I don't wanna waste this green because I have it in my color cup, so I'm gonna kinda jump around real fast and um, add that to, this is the outside. So I'm gonna put the main sh uh, piece of the shoe on the outside. The main character of the shoe, of, of the shoe on the outside. I do that because, deliberately, because that's where the side is seen, and that's where you like, you cut, people want it painted most of the time. Uh, I did some cool covers for one of the Oakland Raiders, and uh, I painted everything on that, like, you know. Um, and that was one of my coolest, like, Converse projects. And I'm um, gonna do a few more for him, too. So watch out for those. So I'm just dusting this green on here, making it, like, isn't that a really pretty green? Like, it's, like, really nice and, like, really vibrant. So I'm doing that, let that dry. Back here, back and forth, back and forth. So it's doing it. And I'll blow dry it. You guys see me using a blow dryer a lot. Let's 
dry little shoe. All right. So you see me using a blow dryer a lot, and that's because I'm using water-based paints. So all these paints I'm using are like acrylic water-based paints. So they dry super fast. Like the dry time is insane. And when you work with these, if you're an airbrush artist or even acrylic painter, if you paint with acrylics, you know the struggle of working with acrylics. It's awesome and it sucks. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, do, do, do. Hey, Richard. Hey, what's going on? I know you remember these. You did this for me. Custom piece of art. Oh, right on, bro. Hey, thanks. Oh, hey, babe. Ah, see you. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Athena. Awesome. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to add a uh, skin tone right now. So this is like a darker skin tone because it's mixed with green, but that's fine. Actually, if you mix colors like that, um, they'll be more to the type of art you're painting. So I go around his eyes, kind of like an outlinist right here, right? And his face, and then I go and paint his hand. And then I paint his other arm right here while I'm at it. And then I'll kind of paint that in. He looks bald right now, and he super is bald. And um, let me add some hair, right? Some burnt umber. Let's use that. Burnt umber. Let me get rid of all this. And this is actually like a universal um, skin tone. This is actually, I like Steve Driscoll's tone. Awesome artist. I love his skin tone. Really, uh, that's, what, that's what I'm using. And uh, now I'm going to use a, a, wick, a wicked, I mean, actually, color illustration brown for his hair. So here's kind of like this browny, dark color. So I'm going to go over in black. I want to add like a tint of brown in here. I'm going to add like a little brown in here. And if you do this, which is a cool trick, Huh, Pickle Rick. I know, right? I need to do that one. What's going on, Chris? Christine. Okay, gotcha. So I'm going to add like a brown here, right? And this like is like a shadow. And even though it's brown, it looks like a darker yellow. And it gives it that really just shadowy kind of drop shadow effect that you see in like shades and cartoons and everything like that. Add a little bit more of, and this is a fluorescent yellow. Actually, I don't know if I told you guys that when I was doing it. That's a fluorescent yellow. And, um, hey, what's up, Cece? What's up, Selena? And, um, go back here, and then let me add some of that, like, galaxy, like, crazy effects, too. <laughs> you know, I got, like, just spraying everywhere. All right. So, more for the Pathalo. Hey, what's going on? More for the thallo green in here. So right here, let's put this up right here. Right here, I'm going to do some kind of like swirls and galaxy effects, right? Lightly, because I can still feel it, and the color underneath is still wet. The neon green is still wet. So if you guys paint with neons, they, they dry uh, slower than all the other colors. Because neons actually have, uh, the chemical in neon paint is actually breaking down. Uh, it's reaction where the molecules break down and it releases a bright neon effect. So that's how you produce neon colors if anybody kind of want to know how they work. And I'm a super nerd, so I know stuff. Like, I am a super nerd, so I talk about and know stuff about that. Chemical compounds. And... Yeah, that's what I do for fun. All right. And watch Rick and Morty. Yeah. So uh, I'm adding, I'm kind of moving around the uh, shoe right now. Hey, what's up? Uh, Ashley Blinsky. Hey, what's up, Ashley? Evelyn Rios. Oh my God, I can't believe how far we've come. I need to make me some cut. Yeah, man, definitely get some custom ones. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Nice colors. Thanks. Yeah, I like these, uh, the like greens. And, um, adding more of that on here. So, kind of going with, like, that primordial, like, galaxy ooze theme. 
I got Rick and Morty playing in the background too somewhere. Getting in the Rick and Morty mood. All right. Hey, what's up, Todd? Hey, thanks, man. I'm glad you joined me. And yeah, last week was nuts, but this week I'm on it, man. Getting a little late tonight, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. So I lift up the tongue of the shoe, and I really get in these inside parts. Because that's important, especially when someone's wearing them. Like, if you're making shoes, they're going to want to, like, show them off. So, like, do a badass job, you know. Like, make it so cool that they want their friends to have it and everyone else to have it. Like, that's kind of, like, my motto in life also when you're doing anything. Right? So adding green around there. Brittany Gomez, uh, very proud of you. Uh, see how far you're going. Keep on great work. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brittany. I owe, I owe Ronnie shoes. Left a lot of lost them in the move. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's moving stuff. I was losing my stuff, too. Um, adding some more green. And just, like, blending the greens up. So I'm going I'm to chill out. Actually, let me add some white so that can uh, settle. So I move back and forth. And the reason, like I said, I do that is so the paint tapers in colors. It lays white on there and then it dries. So I'm letting it dry and then I move on. Letting it dry and then I move on. That's important. Maybe I outline a little bit. So, like really bring it out. So these are cartoon characters, so you can get really like cartoony and bold and really like highlights super, super bold and fine. Especially if it's like a dark color on a dark color, like his head right here. So maybe on camera it's not hard, it's hard to see, but if I go like this, see how that works? It outlines his head and separates him from the background. So there's a purpose for doing this. It's not just a... A stylistic thing. Adding white there. Hey guys, hey, uh, shoot, Gonzalez, CC. My kids love the shoes. Hopefully, we can come back home soon. Yeah, man, definitely come back. Say hi. Definitely, man, you know? Uh, yeah, definitely. Notice on TV. Hey, give me a couple years. All right, um, what's up, Seth? in the house um do, do, do. hey guys jillian cool ass shoes thanks hey appreciate it hey, man okay so i'll do some little stars right here little dots pull but if you pull your airbrush back you can get softer dots if you're in closer like this little tiny ones right mix that up and you can get a cool kind of depth of field like that and you can even get harder with harder dots to put them in there like that all right and maybe I'll, I'll finish his eye later let me move on to Morty or Rick I, I'm still confusing the two Rick or Morty anybody I'm watching like okay this is what is it um Rick this is Rick right asking for a friend All right, um, so I'm doing the next guy, which where is he at? Where did you go? Are you on the Floa? If not, I'm just gonna freehand you because I have no patience. I think he's like a scientist or something too. Yep, under the converse. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. Oh, there it goes, okay, yep. Found him. All's good, Diego, just chill. Okay, so I'm gonna put him on there, and what I'll do is use a spray adhesive. And this thing, what this does is uh, adheres the paint, adheres the stencil design of the template to the shirt, to the converse, I think I'm painting shirts, right? So I'll blow it and let it dry. Because if you put it on there right away, it'll leave that the little kind of sticky things to it, debris, and you don't want that. You want it to be nice and clean when you pull it off. Make their shoes super dope. And kind of stretching it on here. Hey Todd, the illustration paint you can as long as you don't have to wash the stuff. 
Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love the illustration paint. I use that a lot. All right, so now I'm pushing the template down, making sure it's nice and flat. And um, I want to use some black because that's one of my favorite colors. I have like huge things of black, like different kinds, like flat black and glossy black and million black. This is a um, Wicked Jet Black, which is one of my favorite blacks, actually. Nice, sprays out nice and flat. A really uh, awesome artist from Australia, Ergon, taught me that. Really great guy. If, you, uh, if you're into other airbrush artists, check him out. Ergon, last year. Yes, sir. He's a great artist. I follow him. So I'm going out on a date with Black, and she said yes, so that's nice. So I'm outlining it, and then I am doing the same process right here. Do hey Todd, do do do, I have some, but I haven't used it yet. Yeah man, definitely check that out, that's awesome. Uh, I love that color, like that's probably, are you talking about the, the, the black, right? The jet black, that's the only one I like. And then the illustration colors, I use those all the time. Like I'll mix, I'll mix in between, but if I'm doing something super detailed, like, you know, I'll, I'll add them, you know, to my arsenal. So then I'll outline it again and let me use the, um, actually, let me do this right here. So this is a cool trick I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna add, this is Wicked uh, Pathalo Green. So I'm gonna outline the black with a Wicked Green first, right? If you outline it with a, a color like Wicked Green, a heavier color that's not light and transparent when you're doing like templates, you don't have to flood it with the neon. So now I'm going to use a neon, like, and I didn't do it in the first shoe. I'm going to do it in this shoe though. I'll show you. So, and then I don't have to like flood it on the, on the canvas right here because these shoes are actually made out of canvas which is nice, which is like the perfect like, artist, uh, t you know, perfect artist canvas, right? Artist paint on canvas for a reason, because it's awesome to paint on. Except me, I paint on like everything. Hey guys. What's up guys? So I'm adding this green on here. All right, so I'm adding more green and then I'm spraying it across. And adding, I'm blending in this neon green really, really nice. And then I'm always cleaning the tip off the airbrush because it doesn't back up. All right. All right, and then I'm moving the shoe around, of course, like that, always like rotating it. So it comes out really nice and good. All right, and then I'm looking at it again in the light, kind of moving it around to see any dead spots. That spots I call, I call them dead spots are just like white because if it's blank, it's dead. I always go to my friend's house and I see like their walls and they're just all white and nothing's hung up or anything. I'm like, I just, like I'll give, take this painting and put it up, like put some art on your wall. I, it'll look, it'll make you like so much happier. Like, it enriches your life. Buy a piece of art, put it up. I don't care who it is or what it is. Something that you like, something that draws and compels you to buy it. It makes you feel something. Introduce art into your life. That's my um, kind of my thing. I want to share with people. All right, so then I'm adding this green on here and blending it in again. And let me go back to the blow dryer. So long. I, like it. I like the blow dryer. The 
because this this green is this green is so uh, so transparent. The neon it takes forever to dry, so you want to kind of get that on there really well. Put that back here, and then I I always add this deep color at the bottom. You ever notice that? Well, the reason I do that is because I frame the shoe like you would a painting or any other kind of design, right? Make me some, oh, hey, what's up, uh, guys? Hey, what's up, Todd, man? I saw you on YouTube. What's up with the six stencil? It's awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, if you want, uh, uh, Billy Bones, man, if you're watching, if you want some uh, templates, uh, just DM me, message me, and I'll make you some. I make my own and design them. And it's super cool. I could use them on anything. So I'm adding some more swirls and some effects up here. Some more swirls around here. Just like chilling. Actually, let me move it towards the camera so you guys can see. Better. And then I kind of outline even the tongue of the shoe. So say like this is a canvas, say this is one a whole piece of alone. That's how I break it up into sections. And each section is an individual kind of artwork or whatever you want to you know, call it. That's how I see it in my head because I'm crazy. What is your favorite thing to draw? Hmm, favorite thing? Uh, the favorite, I, I, I am definitely, if you follow my work, it's body art. It's, you know, like pinup stuff, the feminine, stuff like that I love. I think it's cool. I love old school pinup art. Um, so a lot of the old airbrush artists started doing like the Playboy stuff and illustration. I think it's cool as heck. So if you like art and you want to follow somebody, follow, um, what's her name? Um, uh, the lady, she did the illustration for the original Playboy uh, out, uh, artwork. I have some of art in here, it's super awesome. When I get when I when I get out more, I wanna meet her and get an autograph. I'll drop the name in the comments later. So I'm losing I'm losing the idea, but the Alright. It's like Sylvia I think it's Sylvia G. Okay, so I'm adding more galaxy stuff here. And what this is right here is a texture template. So I wanted to add some funky kind of textures and you can see that like right there it's kind of like this like slime kind of skin kind of thing and I love using uh, templates and stencils in my work it's kind of embodies the whole graffiti movement theme like Banksy I love that guy he's a dope artist and um, yeah. so it's not cheating it's just a uh, way to a, a technique, something to use in your work, right? It gives it, uh, gives a texture. I love texture, and if you add texture like this to your airbrush work, you are so much ahead in the way that you can differentiate your work from everybody else's. You know, and I love to be different. You know? <laughs> Who doesn't, right? You want to kind of stand out, so I do stuff like that. Hey, you should do some tattoos. I might do some tattoos for fun. Um, my friend uh, Carl, I was talking to him about it. He told me the same thing. Done. Yep. I want them. Right on. Uh, actually, I'm going to drop a link. It's on my website, mindlesspaint.com. Come check it out. Uh, I'll drop a link. I didn't in the uh, description, but I will. I'll edit it. So if you want some, go check it out, mindlesspaint.com. If you have any questions, DM me. I'm pretty cool. I think I'm very cool. My mom thinks I'm cool. That's all I care about. Alright. So I am adding these little swirls everywhere. And I guess you guys probably want to see this, right? Because I get so into it. So here is... We still figured this out yet. Is this Brick or Morty? Uh, yeah, so this is the guy with the blue. We'll call him Blue Guy. Call him Rick. No, this is Rick. I think I'm pretty sure this is Rick. Um, 
So then I want to add, I think he has, he has like a bluish tone into it. So let me just empty out this color cup. And I don't want to waste any paint, so I'm kind of going to jump over here and add some more of that green, because I really think it's pretty. A nice pretty green in here. And then I'll empty it out, and then I'll clean out the color cup just briefly, because I don't want to dilute the paint, but it will be diluted a little bit, and that's fine. That's fine by me. Um, let me add some reducer to it. Set this up right here. Got some reducer. And I'll kind of reduce it first before I add the color. Maybe just flush a little bit on my gun. Okay, so then I'm gonna add the skin tone because that's one of the lightest tones anyways. And this is the universal skin tone. So this is kind of like a sandy color. It's a little lighter. And it's super thick, so I want to kind of mix it first before I do that, actually. Let me add some more reducer in here. Okay, and then I can shake it up and uh, should be pretty good. Okay. Slightly add the skin tone to it. Like that, and he's a little greenish. That's fine. Be a little green. All right, guys. So now I want to add the blue. I have this really awesome blue. I'm so excited to use it uh, because I get excited for colors. Yeah. So I want to use Laguna Blue. I'm gonna shake it up like that, and it's really important to shake your paints up before you do it, or else the pigment settles to the bottom and you don't get all the brightness and all the rich colors. Becky, uh, my son would love those. Yeah, that'll be, yeah, definitely, man. I do Brick Morty, uh, what else? I was doing some other ones. Dragon Ball Z for the guy from the Raiders. Just, uh, Jace, Jason, Jonathan Feliciano, super cool guy. Super cool guy, for real, he's a real down to earth guy. Um, it's cool meeting cool people like that, you know? Um, and then I'm adding blue to this, Laguna Blue. So I want to, I actually shoot it out before I uh, airbrush on it because I want to flush any of the other colors out and I don't want to have a desaturated color. So his hair is like this really cool, pretty Laguna Blue. And I love his hair. His hair is like super out there. the remote that he brings. And then I'm gonna add like a blue tint to his jacket, just so it's like a reflection of his hair, kind of in the galaxy. And that's cool like that. And maybe add some like blue around him. I don't know how this is gonna look. And so, so like, so something like that is a test, I test it out. That's really good to do original work. You don't know how it's gonna be until you see it. And you always gotta experiment, man. Like all the time. So that's cool. And maybe add some yellow in the background to brighten it up. And then back with some darker blue and that'll be cool. So this is pink. Uh, so this is a fluorescent yellow. Hey, have you done celebrities? Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, hey, what's up, uh, Lonzel? I did some for uh, the Oakland Raiders, uh, Jonathan Feliciano. So I have some in my mindless paint page of uh, our article I wrote about him, and you can see the custom ones I've done for him. Uh, Breaking Benjamin worked with them, uh, Brie Lau, B. Miller, a bunch of musicians um, and stuff like that, NSYNC, Joey Fatone, a bunch. So, and I got a bunch more I'm planning on working with, Kanye West. I got some dope shit for you. If you're watching my channel, man, I know you're gonna flip off the stuff I can do. Hey, what's up, Rachel Barney? Hey, what's going on? 
Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Drop a like and uh, share, please, if you can. Uh, just trying to get my art out there and, uh, you know, get it seen. And I really appreciate you guys. You help me out so much, like sharing my stuff and liking it. Um, so thank you. just want to tell you that. All right. So that's good. And I want to go back with a blue now. So I want to use, let me put this yellow there. I want a deeper blue in here. And I want to kind of mix that blue with the background. And I like doing that. I like having a cost, uh, how much do you charge? Okay, so these were a hundred bucks for the art and then like 50 bucks for the shoes or whatever the shoes cost. So you don't have to get them on uh, Converse. You can get them on anything. Um, or you can ship me the shoes or whatever. But that's how much I charge for this. Um, blah, blah, blah. Hey, thank, hey, Billy Bones. Hey, thanks, man. We appreciate you for doing this. Uh, definitely, man. I appreciate it. And uh, if you want to, like, learn more and stuff, check out my Patreon. Uh, it's patreon.com slash mindlesspaint. You can uh, help support me or just uh, do the levels. And I'm teaching people how to airbrush, all that stuff. So that's really cool. If you want to, you know, if you're an airbrush artist or any artist in general. Just kind of getting the, getting the, um, what's it called? Getting the art form out there more so what's up eric hey thanks for dropping in hey charlene hey how's it going everyone appreciate it for checking me out i'm doing rick and morty custom converse so now i'm dropping in and i don't know if i'm blocking with the paint i'm dropping in a blue this is a pretext wicked blue and then i'm outlining his kind of hair a little bit making it a little more just def definite And then a little more there. And then I want to add some green. I think there's a nice, well, is it green? You know what? Let me add a purple just so it stands out. I know this remote's not purple, but right here it's purple. That's cool. And then I'll add some blue around him. Let me add some blue because that's what I was talking about, right? I say I'm going to do something, and then I forget. And then I say it again. I forget. All right. All right. Some like really, really cool graffiti dots, some whirls, little dot here, little dot there, little dot everywhere. And you hear the hokey pokey. And da 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 da. Okay. So then I'm adding a white now to outline everything. And let me switch to this is a. Wicked opaque white. Oh, thanks, man. J thank you, uh, Jason Rod Twenty, man, from uh, YouTube, man. I appreciate that. Those are off the hook. Oh, thanks, Wednesday. I appreciate it. So, do do do. Make me some Evra Evras Twenty Four. Hey, uh, definitely check out my website if you want some. Get some now. Order them before they get too expensive. Because I'm doing like different stuff. So, I appreciate it. What's up, Robert, Eric, how are you guys? going on I'm adding some little highlights now for his teeth right down here see the kind of like these crooked little old man teeth and he's like creepy kind of old man so that's cool make it like super embellish it so I'm getting in here really nice and tight and I'm really concentrating now so I like how I'm defining this outline because now I'm freehanding it now as if I'm drawing it and the nice thing about these templates and what that does, it gives you a little map to follow, especially if you're like a newbie. And it does a lot of the, most all the work for you in a way. It does a lot of it though. So I'm outlining it. And uh, if you follow my Patreon page, and uh, if you're an artist you wanna learn, um, I'm actually giving away a, a template with the subscription and we're doing projects, so like say we're doing some shoes like this, so you can work along me, aside me, and uh, you know, kind of do it as I go. So that's really a cool kind of feature that is really new. I want to bring that to the industry. 
What's up, Amy, Robert, all you guys? What's up, John? Hey, what's up, bro? Thanks for joining me and checking me out. Uh, MindlessPaint.com, we're just doing a kind of Rick and Morty kind of custom converse and doing some like designs and swirls and all that stuff. Thanks, John. Appreciate it, man. And I'm actually working with John. He just dropped in with a charity auction. So if you're out uh, in the area, hit him up. Uh, if you got anything you want to donate, super cool guy. I'm donating some uh, hats, some uh, custom canvases I signed for him. And all the proceeds are going to kids for school supplies. A lot of good stuff. So I'm always trying to help out the community and uh, support people that are doing that. Todd, uh, did you make the hat stencil? Do you, oh, did you make? Yeah, yeah, I did that. Made those, made all these, all that. I make them all myself. <laughs> Thanks, man. So I'm adding all this here, making them really shine, really stand out. And then I'm gonna maybe overlay this. Let me do that actually while you're on line with me. And uh, I know I'm streaming late, but I appreciate you guys for just chilling in a little longer and waiting for me. Uh, I would like to get everything set up really nice so you guys can see and everything. Nice, easy airbrush. Oh, hey, man, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, actually, Wednesday, my airbrush is, I have to change that. It's mindlesspaint.com. That's uh, my body art site that I need to re uh, fix. So if you're watching me out there, uh, it's mindless, mind, am I, uh, yeah, paint.com. Um, Williams. No, yeah, I have to update that, uh, do do, bro. So. It's uh, William, right? Is that what it is? How much does something like that go for? So I'm charging 100 bucks for these for the artwork, and um, plus the cost of whatever the shoe is. So that's what I'm selling it for. Uh, you can sell it for whatever, but that's how much you got. All right, so, um, so I'm adding yellow on top of here to overlay it, and it's really making a nice kind of muted yellow. So let that dry and put that kind of creepy guy back here in the background somehow. You chill out though. All right. So now we're coming back here. Uh, this is cool right now, right? So this is pretty much a solid shoe. It'll work. But I like to always ratchet it up a little bit more and make it super like that extra level. Um, hey, Selena, what's going on? Sweet shoes. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. John Botts, super awesome. You can't appreciate it. Oh, no, no problem, dude. Like, I love doing that stuff, helping other people, man, and uh, giving back, dude. So um, adding a black right here, right? Okay, lost my lid. Let me take this lid. So I'm adding black. And then I'm outlining. So I'm outlining. Let me add his eye right here, right? He looks weird without his eye. I'm going in here and filling these little gaps with a stencil, made that cut, and then outlining the entire shoe. Just to make a pop more. If you guys are watching me and you want to kind of learn more too, uh, and subscribe, if you're an airbrush artist, want some lessons, or just a new artist, check out my Patreon slash Mindless Paint page. It's patreon.com, I added it in the, uh, the comments. And uh, subscribe. I got a cool class I'm doing for airbrush artists and uh, special effects painters and all you guys. So, so I'm coming in here. His hands, fingers, some squiggly right there, and then making it really just be like, bam. Okay, that's a cool eyebrow. And, that's a really cool Rick and Morty uh, converse right there, right? And uh, maybe come in with some more highlights just to define it a little nicer. Hey, what's up, Kirsty? What's going on, guys? I get this question a lot. Why, why so much for the shoes? Oh, that's dude. Hundred bucks for these is not a lot of money, man. First of all, it's not a lot. Uh, it's hand painted, so it's my time, right? I mean, people pay 
the short answer is because everyone else pays a lot for shoes that are like Jordans and everything. You know, and it's handmade, one of a kind. So if anybody asks, they like, you're never going to get something like this from anybody ever again. You can't buy this in a store. You know, and that's the value. And when you do that, people will appreciate the heck out of it. At least your good customers will, you know. So that's the, kind of like my little spiel on it. And a little bling, a little bling bling. I work in fashion. That is not exactly seeing Lena. You got me. You go, girl. You go, girl. I'm going to do like a virtual high, five, virtual high five right there. So I'm going to come here and then paint these little white dots again. And just kind of make these little swirlies and little... Just and what this does is break up the green. See, see how green this is? You're born green. I don't like you now. You're my best friend when I started, but now I definitely talking behind your back right now. Bam. Bam. I didn't little swirls on top of it. So now this this white is stealing the show from the green. Although this white wouldn't be anything without the green. What a jerk. Okay. <laughs> Some personal issues I got right there. But, um, all right, so adding a little bit of bling here and a little bit of bling there. I know I'm silly. All right. So that's cool. Maybe I went over with the white, but that's okay. A little overboard. So I'm going to tone it down with like a blue. Mix it in, give it like a bluish, and then maybe like another yellow to really bring it back to that color palette. Because I'm using, if you notice, a lot of cool colors. So the color palette for the shoe is cool. And what I mean by cool, I mean by it's greens. Cool colors are the, uh, on the color wheel, like greens, um, blues, dark blues, dark greens, and things like that. So that's really, you know, like that's why I don't have like a, like an orange in here, you know? That's a warm color. And technically a yellow is a warm color too, but you can use it if you mix it with green. And actually green's a really hard color to paint with too, so. But Rick and Morty, these guys can pull it off. Oh, thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, Selena. All you guys and Easy Airbrush. Hey, man, thanks, dude. Uh, do Dimebag CFA. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks, Killer, man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, and uh, like Easy Airbrush. If you want to like check out my Patreon, check it out. You know, just see the class. You know, the little kind of levels, and I, I kind of do like uh, you know classes and just little stuff, man. Like whatever you guys want to learn, um, teaching. So. That's really cool. All right, so I think that's pretty dope. I think I like it. I'm kind of going to... So that's... that's. Uh, is this Rick? I think we didn't figure that out yet. Anybody watching? <laughs> is this Rick or Morty? Because I'm freaking it out. All right, so that's done, and um, this is pretty done. The last thing I want to do is add the same texture to this shoe because I want them to really blend well and work together. I'm always really conscious too about making the shoes, they don't have to be exactly the same, but if I use the same color scheme on one, I'll try to use the same color scheme and color patterns on the other one. And that's just a personal preference, but I think as a designer, and anybody that's even watching that does a design, because I have a degree in graphic design, it's kind of like a rule of design. Um, not to mix too many colors at once. Oh, green shoelaces, yeah. Or like maybe like a cool like neon yellow for it to really just like stand out or something nuts like that. That's not a bad idea though. So where's my Fafao green? Right here. All right. So I'm gonna move this so you guys can see it, but I'm gonna use this template 
and push it on the design. And this is kind of like freehanded though. I'm not using any of the adhesive, but if you want to, definitely I recommend doing the adhesive. I'm just working fast, so I don't have time to do it because I'm doing the live stream. Maybe even put some like bubbles over him, right? So he's kind of like stuck in this ooze. So give him that like stuck in the ooze kind of thing. Well, let's do it for him too. I kind of just made that up as I went. I thought it's kind of a cool idea though. All right. So now he's super, 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 super stuck in the ooze. And uh, then I'm adding this all around the design too. Anything as a unicorns would be very popular. Oh, dude, that's a great idea too. Dude, you guys have amazing ideas. Uh, Rick's the old guy and Morty's the young kid. Okay, that's what I thought. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. My daughter loves unicorns and some loves camo. Oh, nice. Yeah, unicorns, camo is a good one too, especially with this Midwest, man. That's another great idea. All right, so now I'm adding this. And that's it, man. That's pretty much the Rick, the Morty. I mean, just drop a couple highlights in there and then you're good. I mean, that's pretty much it. So I just want to show you guys really fast. Here's the uh, Morty one. And that's kind of like all around here and the design. And then you can peel it off. I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'm gonna, I'll post some pictures of it done later. And then I'm actually going to edit the links so if any of you guys want some. Blue and yellow. Oh, that would be a nice color too. So if any of you guys want some, that's uh, Morty. I mean Rick. My bad. That's Rick. Just want to show you guys some real fast. Kind of. Right there. So I appreciate you guys checking me out and uh, subbing to my channel. If you can, that will be awesome. And if you're watching it, share it, please. If you're online at uh, Facebook, that's good. And uh, thank you again. So I'm definitely going to have something next, uh, again next Tuesday and Thursdays. So check me out. All right. I'm out of here, guys. All right. See you later. Ta -ta, end of live.